start to starve out the virus, and if the virus can't feed anymore, then it's just going to die, and it's going to go away. Alright, the sun is out. It's a sunny day. We're drinking our celery juice here, taking a little, little break, and we wanted to jump on and talk to you guys about viruses today. Yes, viruses and what they feed on. So they actually feed on different things. So that's what we're gonna go over today. And you might be thinking, oh, I feel perfectly healthy. I don't have any viruses. I, I don't, you know, I don't feel sick. Well, that doesn't mean you don't have a virus. Many of us, actually probably most of us, do have some sort of um, mix of viruses in our system. There's over 60 varieties of the Epstein-Barr virus and over 30 varieties of the shingle virus. And many times you might have those and not even know it because they're not creating these you know, chronic symptoms. You might just be having these minor symptoms that you don't even know are associated with mm -hmm. those viruses. There's also the HHV-6 virus, HHV-7, um, the undiscovered HHV-10 through, is it 16? 16, yeah. Um, there's herp herpes 1 and 2. Um, there's the cytomegalovirus. And then now we're dealing with the big coronavirus that's going around. Um, and then there's also the different flu viruses that pop around every year. So there's a lot of viruses and... Um, there's a lot you can do to protect yourself too. Yeah, so today what we want to focus on is telling you guys the foods that you should avoid that feed these viruses. So I guess let's get into it, huh? Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so let's start with the number one thing that feeds viruses. And that is eggs. And I know everybody loves their eggs. And this includes egg, egg whites too. Yep. I'm not just saying the yolk. I'm talking about the whites too. The entire thing. The entire thing. So uh, eggs are horrible for your system. They feed viruses. They feed bacteria, yeast, mold. They cause cysts fibroids, they're just a, a bad idea and they are the number one food for viruses. Yeah, and something that we heard was that if you put an egg in a petri dish yep. with a virus, the virus will go crazy, a frenzy, right? Feeding frenzy. Feeding frenzy <laughs> because they love to eat eggs. And in labs, scientists had known this for over a hundred years. They've been using eggs to feed viruses. So why is it just now we're finding this out if it's something that they've known for over a hundred years? Something you gotta ask yourself. If you find this information helpful, be sure to subscribe and click the little bell to get notified every time that we upload a new video. Comment if you have any questions, and also make sure that you follow um, Anthony William, the medical medium, on YouTube and Instagram, as he is where we get all of this wonderful information from. So the number two thing that you want to remove that feeds viruses is dairy. Dairy fat in the bloodstream breeds viruses and bacteria. So that is going to cause mucus, and just like eggs, it also causes major inflammation. Yeah, and you might be thinking, well, I eat my eggs free range, I eat free range organic uh, milk, dairy, you know, I, I, I'm not going to be affected because I'm, I'm not consuming the conventional type. I'm consuming the organic, the, the healthy type. Even if it's organic 
free range. This applies to eggs and dairy. Even if it's organic or free range, it's still going to feed viruses and bacteria. Okay? And we could take a look at the conventional industry, which is 10 times worse, <laughs> which they end up using growth hormones, antibiotics, and then they what they feed the animals is more toxic than than all those combined. They feed them GMO corn, GMO soy, and GMO wheat. And then we're consuming this stuff. So what is it doing to us? Are we then taking in those 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 things that they're putting in these animals? Dairy eggs both feed viruses, both feed bacteria. Stay away from them. They're the top two. So start eliminating these foods immediately and you'll start killing the virus immediately. Start to starve out the virus and if the virus can't feed anymore, then it's just gonna die and it's gonna go away. Yeah. And you're gonna get your life back and you're gonna be in control again, right? So this is important stuff, guys. Yeah. We're trying to help you here. We're trying to save your life. And viruses will destroy your life. Trust me, it did it to me. And we had to go through a lot to get where we are today. And so this information needs to be out there. And it needs to be shared with anybody that is concerned about a virus.